I have one word of wisdom for you. McLovin. This is a Boofwang UV5R radio. And like it or not, more people have purchased this model radio than all other ham and GMRS radios combined. You see this thing everywhere. Off-roaders use them. Preppers love them. You see them in the movies. You see them on TV. You even see them in the news in Ukraine. But why? Why is this radio so popular? There are a few reasons why this radio is so popular. Allow me to enlighten you. To start with, look at it. It looks cool. Chicks dig it. It's small, it's lightweight. Some people would even say this radio looks sexy. But it takes more than just good looks to be popular. I should know. Another reason why the Boofwang UV5R is such a popular radio is because it is a good radio. And by that I mean when you push this button and you talk to your friend many fars away, your friend can actually hear you. And when your friend at the other end with some other radio or a Boofwang UV5R pushes that same button on his radio, you can hear him. And for most normal people, that's all it takes to consider a radio a good radio. Now, some people, some people will point out that the Boofwang UV5R does not have good or pure harmonics and that it has much spurious RF emissions. And many would preach very loudly that they would never use a radio like that. But normal people don't care about any of that. Not even one little bit. Some people will decree that the Bufwang UV5R is nothing but cheap Chinese junk. And those radio Karens will try to tell you that if you don't spend hundreds of dollars for your radio, like they did, that you must be stupid. And what those people actually mean to say is, I'm jealous that you only paid $25 for a radio that does pretty much everything my $600 radio does and can even do a few things that my $600 radio can't do. And this threatens my masculinity. This radio can transmit on ham bands, FRS, GMRS, MERS, and a lot of other frequencies. Now allow me to explain why that matters. More expensive GMRS radios, MERS radios, and even the super expensive, super fancy ham radios are usually locked and can only transmit on their respective frequencies. For example, most ham radios can only transmit on ham radio frequencies. All GMRS radios can only transmit on GMRS frequencies, the same with MERS and the same with FRS. But the UV5R can transmit on all of those frequencies and a lot more. So for only $25, you get a radio that can transmit on HAM, MERS, FRS, GMRS, and a whole lot more. Why buy three radios when you can have just one? This is another reason why this radio is the most popular radio in history. Now it is true that the new Boofwang UV5R radios are locked at the Boofwang Child Chinese Labor Manufacturing Camp in China so that they can only transmit on ham frequencies. But it looks like Boofwang accidentally made it very, very easy to unlock the newer Boofwang UV5R radios to make them transmit on all frequencies, just like the older UV5R radios. Yet another reason why this radio is the most popular radio in the world. Another feature of the UV5R radio that makes it very popular is the Roger Beep. Now some people are very jealous of this Roger Beep feature because their $600 radios doesn't have this advanced feature, and this radio does. And because of their jealousy and outrage, if they hear you talking on the air and they hear the fancy Roger Beep from your UV5R, they may demand that you turn that Roger Beep off in a fit of jealousy. And when this happens, just tell them, my radio 
my choice and simply remind them that if they don't like it, they can go listen to something else. But probably the biggest reason that this radio is the most popular radio in the world is because that even though it does all of these amazing things that I have previously mentioned, it costs only about $25. Extra batteries and accessories are also very, very inexpensive. That means they do not cost very many dollars. This makes the UV5R virtually disposable. If you drop it, or you lose it, or it breaks, or whatever, so what? It's 25 bucks, you go buy another one. Many people that have $500 and $600 fancy radios keep them locked in a glass case in the basement, which makes total sense. They would never dare take it outside where it might get dust on it, or they might accidentally drop it, or it might break. That's understandable. Now, as I have already alluded to, some people are very threatened by this little radio due to its popularity. They will tell you that it's junk. It will just fall apart. It won't last. This one, this specific one, is over seven years old. And for the first five years of its happy little life, I used it off-roading virtually every weekend of those five years. I've dropped it. It's pretty much always covered in dust. It's been rained on and it still works just fine. Although, to be fair, I did need to buy a new battery for it after about three years and that did cost me about $12. So some people will try to tell you that you can't use this radio because it's not a real radio, like their $600 radio, even though it does pretty much the same thing. And as I've already mentioned, can do a few things that their $600 radio can't do. Or they will tell you that you can't use it because it has much spurious RF emissions. But also, as I've already mentioned, normal people don't care about that. They don't care, not one bit. In their jealous rage, some people will even try to tell you that if you use this radio, you will go to jail. But in fact, according to the FCC's own public records, nobody has ever gone to jail or even been fined for simply using a UV5R with or without a license. Now, no doubt, when you look through the comments on this very video, down there, you will see comments from proclaiming their opinion about how horrible the UV5R is. These radio Karens are probably already hard at work writing stories about how if you use this radio, the police won't be able to hear their dispatchers. Airplanes will drop out of the sky and babies will be disfigured by all those spurious RF emissions. And that is all bullshit. And if you don't believe me, just ask one of those storytellers to leave a link to a credible source backing up their fairy tale. And they probably won't reply, but if they do reply, they will come up with arguments, they will call you a racist, they will say that it is up to you to prove their claims, or they will just proclaim that you are too stupid to have a discussion with. But in the end, they will not be able to give you a credible source for their fairy tales because they're all lies. But more importantly, no matter what all of those Radio Karens say, no matter how much they wail and gnash their teeth and carry on about how horrible they think this radio is, it will not change the fact that this is pretty much the most popular radio in the world.